थर्ड प्रॉब्लम फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ पी इफ द स्ट्राइट लाइन्स स्ट्राइट लाइन्स थ्री एक्स प्लस सेवन वाई माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड सेवन एक्स माइनस पी वाई प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो और म्यूचुअली परपेंडिकुलर परपेंडिकुलर म्यूचुअली परपेंडिकुलर फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ पी इफ द स्ट्राइट लाइन्स थ्री एक्स प्लस सेवन वाई माइनस वन इज इक्वल जीरो एंड सेवन एक्स माइनस पी वाई प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल जीरो आर म्यूचुअली परपेंडिकुलर सो दट मीन्स हियर हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम first equations of the two lines are given which are in the form of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 the first we should know the formula to find out slope of any line which is in the form of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 do you know that formula yes why not you might be knowing that formula that formula is माइनस एक्स कोइफिशेंट बाय वाई कोइफिशेंट माइनस ए बाय बी सो यूजिंग दैट फॉर्मूला स्लोप ऑफ द फर्स्ट लाइन स्लोप ऑफ द सेकंड लाइन कैन बी डिटरमिन्ड सो आफ्टर गेटिंग स्लोप ऑफ द फर्स्ट लाइन एंड स्लोप ऑफ द सेकंड लाइन सो जस्ट चेक द कंडीशन हियर द टू लाइन्स आर म्यूचुअली परपेंडिकुलर Since they are mutually perpendicular, means angle between two lines is ninety degrees. Since the two lines are mutually perpendicular, the condition is that m one into m two is equal to minus one. So that means slope of the first line m one we have to find out, slope of the second line m two we have to find out, and get the product and e being equated to minus one, so that required p value can be obtained. Very simple. so better remember slope of the first line slope of the second line m1 m2 m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 so we get p value so let us do it slope of the first line 3x Plus seven y minus one is equal to zero is m one is equal to minus three by seven. That means you remember this formula: slope of a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero is m is equal to minus a by b. This is the formula. so you may write in the examination also like this no problem okay slope of the second line slope of the second line that is 7x minus py plus 3 is equal to 0 is say m2 that is m2 is equal to Minus seven by minus p, which is equal to seven by p. Now we have to make the relationship between m one and m two, since they are mutually perpendicular. 
perpendicular mutually perpendicular so we know the condition that implies product of the slopes m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 what is m1 m1 is minus 3 by 7 multiplied by m2 is 7 by p is equal to minus 1 7 1 just 7 cancel minus 3 by p is equal to minus 1 cross multiplication minus p is equal to minus 3 both sides minus minus cancel we have p is equal to 3 this is the answer problem number 4 find the equation of the straight line find the equation of the straight line passing through passing through a minus 1 comma 3 and number 1 parallel parallel number 2 perpendicular to the straight line to the straight line passing through passing through b 2 comma minus 5 and c 4 comma 6. So, these kind of problems are very very important for board examinations. Here two questions are there. The first let me read the question once again find the equation of the straight line passing through a minus 1 comma 3 and first one parallel second perpendicular to the straight line passing through b 2 comma minus 5 and is c 4 comma 6. So, how to solve this problem? First let us make a plan like this. First let us find out slope of the line passing through the points b and c. So, that can be obtained using the formula y 2 minus y 1 by x 2 minus x 1 understood I hope. The first question what is the first question means equation of the line passing through minus 1 comma 3 and parallel to b c. Since the line is parallel to b c the slope of the required line is equal to the slope of the line passing through BC itself only. So, that means equation of the line passing through minus 1 comma 3 having the slope same as the line passing through B and C. So, that means slope is given and point is given slope point form or point slope form using point slope form that is y minus y 1 is equal to m into x minus x 1 we can find out. So, if you want to go for second question perpendicular to the B C. So, the slope of the line which is perpendicular to B C that is minus 1 by slope of the B C we have to write. So, easily same using y minus y 1 is equal to m into x minus x 1 formula we can get second problem also. So, let us do the problem now first solution. First slope of the line passing through
passing through b 2 comma minus 5 and c 4 comma 6. Let us say this is m we know the formula y 2 minus y 1 by x 2 minus x 1 6 plus 5 4 minus 2 that is 11 by 2 slope of b c. Let us come to the first question. Now, slope of the required line say m or m 1 better or m you say no problem. Slope of the required line since it is parallel equal to 11 by 2 only they are parallel. They are parallel. Now, what we have to find out the equation of the line passing through a minus 1 comma 3 that means x 1 comma y 1 with slope or having slope 11 by 2 is formula y minus y 1 is equal to m into x minus x 1. So, substituting what is y 1? Do you expect it? Yes, you are correct this is 3 y minus 3 is equal to 11 by 2 into x 1 is minus 1 minus of minus plus 1 x plus 1. Cross multiplication 11 x plus 11 is equal to 2 y minus 6. Bring 2 y this side 11 x minus 2 y is equal to minus 17 11 x minus 2 y plus 17 is equal to 0. This is the first answer. Now, one more we have in this problem. So, problem has, need, has not been completed. Second problem is there. So, second one. So, m is equal to slope of the line perpendicular to B C. B C that is minus 1 by slope of B C. What is slope of B C? Just we have evaluated by that is minus 1 by 11 by 2 that will be minus 2 by 11. What is the required equation? The equation of the line passing through or passes through no problem passing through a minus 1 comma 3 having slope or with slope with slope minus 2 by 11 is we know the slope and point y minus y 1 is equal to m into x minus x 1. Okay, let us do it. Now, substitu substitution takes place y minus 3 here minus 2 by 11 and x plus 1. Do not worry already we have done. So, now cross multiplication 11 y minus 33 is equal to minus 2 x minus 2 bring this side 2 x plus 11 y minus 33 plus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, 
टू एक्स प्लस लेवन वाई माइनस थर्टी वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड आंसर आई होप यू मैट आफ फॉलो सो बेटर यू प्रैक्टिस दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन आई रिपीट वंस अगेन 